Hey, hey, hey! Mary Ann here, the crotchety clogger! Hey, Granny D, what's up? No, it's not too bad. My fingers are a little cold. I got my thrift store jacket on. <laughs> hey, Trish, what's up? I hope Madonna's doing okay. I read on her community page about uh, her sis-in-law. Hey, Jaxie, what's up? Love to you, too. Judy, hey. Hey, Judy, where are you located? Wonder Twin and Jack says, what's that, Mama Swift? Oh, oh, oh yeah. I don't know how, what is the temperature? I think it's 50 Santa Fe. All right, Judy. In New Mexico, New Mexico, New Mexico weather. 55, according to this. It's not too awful. It's not too cold. Hey, 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 Linda Quilty. There's Yarn Geek. Hey, Ginger. Can you believe I finally got it? I'm just, I mean... I'm a patient person. <laughs> I really am. But uh, Ginger, geez, paying priority shipping for something that took what? How long? Three weeks? Oh, hey, Elaine. You got it. Good. Good. I'm glad you got it. Oh, hey, Cheryl. I know. I think it, I, it, Ginger, I think on the tracking when you sent me the tracking i tracked it to october 30th and then after that it just seemed like it sat in missouri for that long and finally it came late yesterday i know took a super long time that's crazy but i know the postal service is shorthanded and all the uh, propaganda mail they had uh, who knows I'm glad you got your package, Elaine, because gosh, you never know <laughs> now with the mail. And let's keep our thoughts and prayers for Madonna, that her heart heals. I mean, in time, I know it will, but... Uh, that's kind of... Be right back. Okay. <laughs> so while we're waiting for uh, for some people to come in before we open open the package, I can't wait. It's been hard for me to sit here and look at it. I was going to ask. Um, you were excited when you got it, Elaine. Thank you. I'm not an expert with those... Uh, color street nails at all and I, I'll give it another go or two I'm just I don't know I guess I don't like what fingernail polish period and I always you know forget but what it does to my nails it just feels like it I don't know it feels like it takes off a layer of nail and then I get these really rough spots so I need to get one of those buffy thing buffer thing in my bobs <clears throat> but anyway I was going to ask, I'm going to use this uh, comfy cotton blend. I think this is called the whipped cream. 
but I was going to use this for a commission piece, and it's a three, I think, isn't it? Yes, it's a three. So I was thinking if I, because the piece that I did was that scarf. Let me show you. It's a hooded scarf. And the feller that wants me to make it, wants me to make it for his wife. And it's got pockets and it's got the hood, you know. I put tassel on this one. But this was a, I think it was a six, a five or six. What is, um. This is a, oh, golly, Pete, Woolies. Is that a five or six? Anybody remember? One or the other. But my question is, well, I, I've not even put it up against this. This is not near as thick as doubling this up won't be near as thick. But that's okay. It's a six. Okay, thank you, Trish. But I'm going to double this up just because I think and and recreate this in this. You think that'll work? Because he looked at, at this yarn and he liked this yarn. He wanted a really neutral color and something that's washable, easily washable and dryable. So, hey, Marshall, am I pronouncing that right? Thank you. And you, you joined me? Thank you so much. I guess all I can do is try and see how this works out. Thank you, Mar Marcel. Thank you. But for around here, because it, I mean, this will keep you nice, awful. To oh, by the way, this is the, um, the scarf that I'm donating, uh, Tricia, to the, uh, the fundraiser you're doing for Sharon. And if you guys don't know about the, the, you can buy chances with Mama Swift and there's like, how many prizes? Like 17 prizes. And it's help, to help raise money for Sharon. The more I feel it, the more I like it. <laughs> it's 20 prizes now. Wow. Thank you, HD. There's 20 prizes now. So you guys go over to Mama Swift. Here's her link. I've got it on my clipboard. Going to keep it there. Yep. Hashtag our gifts. Is it gift? One gift or gifts of love? I don't know if you changed it to gift of love or gifts of love. <clears throat> I've been putting gifts, plural. Okay, plural. Because there's many gifts to be had, to be, to be one. And this is one of them anyway. So go over to Mama Swift. And you can look at my Halloween video and see it, what it looks like on. Oh, that's okay, Jax. <laughs> it's one big, one big conglomerate gift for Sharon and many for others, right? <laughs> oh, I'm going to stuff it back in here. And I washed it and it washed up really good. It washed up really good. But y'all keep, uh, please keep Madonna in your thoughts and prayers, okay? And Madonna, if you're listening, if you're here listening, take time to make your soul happy. Happy, happy, happy. I know. Well, the sun is going down, so it's not so, making me look like I was in the, the um, shadows. Yes, Madonna. We love Madonna. And you know what? It's okay to fall apart sometimes. Tacos fall apart. We still love them. At least I do. 
And what y'all have for lunch today? I had a good lunch today. My sister-in-law sent me by way of my husband. She sent me this yesterday and I saved it for lunch. She sent me some cream cheese, a bagel, and some lox. Mm, that's what I had for lunch. I hadn't had that in so long. A good old bagel with some lox and a schmear. It was good. It was so good. What y'all have for lunch today? Or what are you having for lunch today? Yeah, Linda, Madonna's sister-in-law passed this morning. Early, early this morning from the COVID. It was on her community page. I mean, what, barely a week ago? She lost her um, little buddy. Yeah, little buddy Beagle and now her sister-in-law. Tacos, yes. I'm going to remind myself of that next time I have a crying spell. <laughs> Sometimes I have crying spells and I have no idea why. But that's what makes us women, right? Yeah, 2020 has been a rough one. There's been really sad and bad things, but there's also been things, I don't know, that have opened my eyes, you know, of what, what I need and what I really don't need. That's the main thing that I've learned and what I'm grateful for. So, what say we open up some, a box? Ginger, are you still here? <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Oh! Okay. 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 Here we go. Here we go. Now, I'm not certain, but I wonder if this on top here, if Ginger, if you did like I usually do. No, I think it's a card. It feels like a card. You had a happy. Your daughter got married. All right. Hey, Crojo Mojo. Crojo Mojo who? What's up? Your daughter got married, and that's cool. And and I, uh, or I should say our niece, is was supposed to have gotten married in December. And uh, the governor here in North Carolina has put us down to 10 10 people max indoor. So, she has postponed the wedding. Okay. Okay, here's what she said. Con and she said, hi, Marianne, congratulations. You've won my very first giveaway. Really? You know what? You're the second person I've won the first giveaway for. <laughs> and then it says, you rock. E-Y-E-W-E. -E. I start saying E-Y-E. E-W-E. -E. Hope you make, hope you love this yarn and make many wonderful things with it. Your yarny friend, Ginger, the yarn gay. You're in West Virginia now, Marshall. I like North Carolina. How do you like West Virginia? I don't think I've ever been there. You got donated yarn coming tomorrow, Crow Joe. Sweet. It's always good to have new yarn. Okay, let's break into this. <laughs> I gotta be careful. Pokey pokey. Tear into it. Tear. Roll it around. Never seen yarns that were given away. Oh. Keep your eyes open. There's giveaways all over the place. Hey, Donna Mako, what's up?
There's our Donamaco. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. <gasps> looky, looky. Woo! -woo. <laughs> North Carolina will always be my home, too. Always lived here, always been here. Ooh, okay. Sweet Delights from Hobby Lobby. Ooh, that soft stuff. Three of them. They are escaping the box. What you mean? What you mean? <laughs> I love this. I've got some of this. I got some of this. Not in this color, but I got some of this. And I know right what it's going to be doing. It's going to be making baby blankets. To go up to um, Lenore, North Carolina, up in our mountains. Oh, that stuff feels so good. Woo! And there's three. <laughs> thank you, Ginger. I'm going to be saying thank you. Thank you, thank you. What? What's this? What's this? What's this? Here's Hobby Lobby. This is... Now, this is new to me. Color play. Ooh. Lucky. It's called Cloudy Coast. My colors. Ah, I love it. Cloudy Coast. I'm looking to see. This is a six. Man, this is soft. Acrylic. Ooh, yummy, yummy. Three of the, oh, 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 check it. Here's another color play. Okay. Here's three more color plays. This is called Sidewalk Chalk. <laughs> so we, I wonder, I don't know. That's so soft. That's so soft. Ooh, -wee. I like this one. I like them both. Hmm. I'm gonna be thinking, 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 thinking. Hey, hey, Katrina. Okay. What else? What else? And the Sweet Delight is acrylic, too. I'm sure. I'm going to just look to be sure. It's a three, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Oh, it's 60 acrylic and 40 polyamide. Whatever. It's soft. Thank you, Mama Swift. Have I missed anybody? Okay. What's this? What's this? Oh, here's some more chalk. Sidewalk chalk. Oh my gosh, that makes that makes six of these. Ooh, oh lali, oh lali, oh lali, oh lali. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, okay. I'll get out of my way here. Get out of my way here. What's this? What's this? What's this? Style craft to batik batik elements. 80 acrylic, 20 wool. You know, you, 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 you don't hardly ever feel the wool in anything anymore, which is okay. I mean, especially for people that are sensitive. This is called sulfur. That's some pretty colors. It's, it's, uh, oh, well, I guess that's why they're calling it batik. It kind of has got that stonewashed look in a variegated way. This is nice. I like this. This is a 50 gram ball. 151 yards. Looks like a three weight, but I can't find that on here anywhere. But I think it's about, it's probably a three weight. I'm actually really liking thinner yarns lately. Probably because it doesn't get... Oh, and there's three of these. <laughs> Y'all. <laughs> oh, that's furry.
I got just a little bit of ox yarn <laughs> that I got from the yarn net. <laughs> and I hadn't even, hadn't even messed with it yet. Ice, ice baby. I've got it. I had not tied it yet. Crow Joe Mojo. Now I got some more. Ooh, this is a thin boucle. Ooh, this is cool. Y'all excuse, excuse my dry hands. That is really cool. Ooh, I like that. Now, the thing about ice yarn. Yeah, it is. Oh, I said it right. It is a boucle. Camel white. Camel and white. I like that. That's like probably a, a lace weight. Well, it might be considered a two or a three because of all the little squigglies, all the boucle. That's cool. And it is made of polyamide and acrylic. Yes. Wouldn't that make a beautiful lacy uh, scarf or shawl or capelet or something? Hey, Mary. Yep, some boucle. I know things, Chris. <laughs> I don't know a whole lot. I don't know if what I know is worth it. <laughs> no one. <laughs> Woo! Thank you, Ginger. Woof, woof. What else is in here? Oh, gosh, there's a whole lot more than I thought. Oh, oh. Value pack. Some nice red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Oh, they're Hanks. I thought they were balls. Ooh. That feels so good. Yes, isn't this a nice red? Look at this red. Oh, these are Hanks. Oh, where did these? I know these are millions, and I love millions. I got to tell you, I love millions. I have never found a million I have not liked. Loops and threads. I don't know. The label looks kind of like that, Crow Joe. You might be right. 1,060 yards. 100% acrylic. Did I say that? That is a beautiful red. And, and a Hank, Crow Joe. Okay, so it's loops and threads, you think? Ooh, 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 ooh. But guess what? Christmas times are coming, y'all. Christmas times are coming. Have y'all heard that country song? <laughs> oh, look at these Hanks. I've never seen Mill End Hanks. Never had Mill End. Well, wait a minute now. Not tr Yeah, no, I've never had Mill End Hanks. God, this is soft. It says it's a four, and this is the same thing. It says it's a four, but I really think that's more along the... It's a thin four. Thin four. This is cool. Oh, look. Looky, look. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh, oh. Uh. <laughs> this is going to be a fun... Oh, but I won't have time. I got too much crap. I got too much to do before Christmas. Oh, oh, Ginger. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is beautiful. What's my favorite? What's my favorite? This might be my favorite. <laughs> I love this. Y'all, I'm such a nerd. I don't have a, a, a gnome. Oh, my gosh. Some air. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some amigurumi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, I love this. Love it. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, I don't know what I was going to say. <laughs> this, this, oh, this is going to be fun. Oh, my gosh. I was going to say something. Y'all need to read my mind. I don't know what I was going to say. Ooh, ooh, this is going to be fun. So there's two Hanks in each one. And that they tell you exactly 14 ounces, 1,060 yards. 
and they tell you exactly how much it is. That's a little. That's a, that's a, that's a little step up from a million. <laughs> Well, good, Marcel. Thank you. Anyway, we can get a smile on our face. On our face is a good thing, right? Oh, thank you, Cheryl. I mean, I can't. Just like all of us believe, we always believe. Oh, well, I'll never win anything. You know? Really? <laughs> You never know. You just never know. You just never know. You just got to keep entering. That's what Granny D says. Just keep entering. You never know. I love it. And to have some more ice yarns to play with is cool, too. I think what I have from ice yarns, I bought two, three packs of Rockabilly. And I haven't even, you know, played with it or anything. But there's six of these. Oh, that's what I was going to say, Cheryl. I don't have a ball wander. I do not have a ball wander. But you know what? Right now, I, I'm, I'm such a nerd <laughs> that... I love to feel the, I love to ball yarn up. <laughs> I do. I love to ball yarn up. Well, yes, Santa Gnome. I will do that. Yes, I will. I'll look on that. Oh, Wish. Really? Wish has got some good, uh, thank you, Crow Joe. I may look at that. I don't know. Let me see. I got several Hanks now that, and I understand, or I think I've learned, that it's best to keep them in hanks until you're ready to use them. Um, so it's, you know, I guess when you ball anything up, it's going to stretch it out some. But um, uh, I don't know. I just, I don't, I'm going to try, and I hadn't even wound up a hank yet. I mean, I wind up all kinds of things when it gets down too low, and I don't want it to get all tangled in, you know, the skeins. But uh, I don't know. I'll just have to see. Use the back of my husband's office chair and let it go, let it just spin. <laughs> 25 is not bad, a whole set. Oh, okay, Jax. I'm on, she's got a McCall. Yes, I saw that beautiful colors. Oh my gosh. McCall crochet. That's made out of rockabilly. Okay. I'll keep an eye out for that. I like balling my yarn. I can't help it. I mean, I to to feel it go through your fingers as you're working with it is wonderful, right? But to uh, be able to feel it yet again before you work it, I mean, you know, why not? <laughs> hey, Sandy. What's up? Sandy, you want to see what I got? Want to see what I got? Want to see what I got from from uh, Ginger, the yarn geek? I need to swallow. A, I got coffee. Today, I thought since I was going to sit outside, I would make me some fresh coffee. You do, you do. Okay. So, I'll just leave them out. Three of these sweet delights, baby bee. Look at that pretty colors. Is there any more yarn in the box that wants to breathe? No, I think you saw it all. But I'm going to show Sandy again. <laughs> and we got six of these color play. This is called Sidewalk Chalk. And this is lusciously soft. Color play from uh, Yarn B, Hobby Lobby, yeah. And we got three of these color plays in the cloudy coast. Gosh, this stuff is so soft. And we got we got three of these batik elements from Stylecraft. That's pretty. It's a lightweight 
uh, it looks like a acid or not acid wash, but a jeans washed and variegated. It's pretty and soft. And I'm liking lighter weight yarns now. I really am. You know what? For me, um, thicker weight yarns hurt more than lighter weight. Hurt, I, you know, work on my, this right here in my wrist. And I got looky, 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 looky. Ice yarn. I got some ice yarn. Where's that? Where's that? Wait, 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 wait. Hope I didn't lose anything. Now, here it is. This is a, a, a teeny weeny boo clay. Check it, check it. I like it. Teeny blue clay. I can see a lovely lacy thing out of this. Ooh. And it's a uh, camel and tan, I think, or camel and white. I'll leave one out. But anyway, there's eight balls of these. And this is my, this I think is my fave. Look at this red, Sandy. Look at this. Look at this. Wait, what does that have? Alpaca or wool in it? What this right here? This ice. The ice doesn't. It has. This is acrylic and polyamide. Teresa's the red lady. Hey, look at this. Isn't that pretty? But that's not all. There were two hanks of the red and two hanks of the white. It's a Christmas time. The multicolored. This one? Or? Oh, this one. The batik. The batik is, I don't think so. Oh, yes, it does. 20% wool. 80, 80 acrylic and 20 wool. Candy apple red scarf. Cool. I did score, didn't I? <laughs> this is the only wool, I believe, sweet tea. This one. This rest. Oh, Lord, I was about to drop a white hank. Can't drop a white hank. Big candy canes. <laughs> yeah, this, this one's got some wool in there. I think that's the only one. But it feels good. It, it's not itchy at all. Big candy canes. HD. HD says I missed my winnings from one of the giveaways. I don't know if it's returned back. They said the address couldn't be found. You have you gave the correct address. And who was this? What winnings was this, HD? No, I don't. These Hanks don't. It's uh, it's mail ends, and it says 100% acrylic, sweet tea. Thank you, Sandy. This was a uh, uh, Yarn Geeks Instagram um, giveaway, her first giveaway. <laughs> you know what, Marcel? That's true. Valentine will be here soon before you know it. Christmas times. Oh, thank you, sweet tea. I feel bad for Ginger because she she paid for priority shipping and it took like three weeks. That's just not. But hey, I'm a groomy ninja. I don't know anybody's name. I'm so sorry. Y'all have to tell me who y'all are if you want me to call you by name. <laughs> Sandy says she had to take my advice on the sharp dress man. My body will not tolerate both feet off the floor or the punch stomach. Okay. That's fine, Sandy. That's fine. When did we? Oh, yeah, I remember when we did the stomach work. Okay. So you're talking about the contraction, right? But how about big candy canes and Valentine's? Yes, I am too. Thank you, Ginger. This feels like a teddy bear. <laughs> How about, uh, Sandy, when you just like pull your navel towards your um, spine? That is a bit. 23 by 13 by 13. Sounds like a big box. 
let's see. Maybe I can do a comparison. This is 15 by 15 by 6. Yes, so 23 by 13 by 13 is very big box, Crojo Mojo. <laughs> That's right, Sandy. And when your body says that, then you just take it easy. That's right. Because I don't want anybody to get hurt. <laughs> Hey, from your little corner of Kentucky, Barbara. Beautiful yarn. Hearts and Cupids. Yes. Oh, my gosh. I mean, there's a plethora of things to do. Let me put what's in the bag back in the box. You got a huge surprise coming your way, sweet tea. It's a huge surprise. And I started to say, what is it? What is it? But if it's a huge surprise, I guess you don't know. <laughs> hey, Sylvia. How is Sylvia doing? Oh my gosh, sweet tea. Yes, it's massive. Well then, who's going to be surprised? Me or you? Me too. I'm intrigued too. Tell me more. No, you know. You have a big surprise. And it's a surprise for all of us. But you know what it is. Is that what I'm gathering from what you're trying to tell me, sweet tea? Oh, I, oh, Lordy, this is wonderful. Ooh. This is wonderful. Oh, thank you, Ginger. <laughs> but I kind of feel guilty because I really don't need any yarn. <laughs> oh, it went back to them. Hmm. Oh, Lordy. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I know. That sounds like some families coming to visit. That's exciting, Teresa. We always need more yarn. You're right. You're right. Oh, sweet tea. That's going to be so exciting. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. And this is Saturday. I got to work Saturday. Because I didn't work last Saturday. She did give some beautiful yarns, didn't she? Oh my gosh. I can't help. Oh, but I don't. Mm. Mm. <laughs> so what you going to make first? Well, let me tell you what's on the agenda. I'm going to use this doubled up to make a hooded pocket scarf. This is a commission piece. So I got to do that because it's a Christmas gift. And, and I have to make a cardigan sweater for my father-in-law for a Christmas gift. And if I get those two things done by Christmas, I'll be doing good. Out of this stuff, I guess this is going to be something for Valentine's Day. That'd probably be the next thing. Big fluffy yarn. This stuff right here. Oh, of course you can join in anytime you want to, Cheryl. You got to go. Okay. Well, I'm glad you came. Thank you for coming, Cheryl. From Oregon, she is. Oh, sweet tea. Hey, Bev is here. Dittmer Nitter is here. Hey, Bev. Slippers are so soft. Leg warmers. Leg warmers. Oh, sweet tea. Your boy's coming? Your girl's coming? Really? Is your boy coming too and your girl? Oh, what? oh my God. Oh my gosh. Oh, Teresa. That's going to be amazing. <laughs> what a reunion. How's Bev doing? Did I already ask you that? Mmm, <laughs> coffee good. I won't sleep tonight. No, that's good. 
better to go for a walk. Get some, get some, you know, I'm in a bouncy chair. <laughs> your daughter and your three grandbabies. Sweet. Okie dokie, Sandy. We will be there. You guys, don't forget, this evening at 7 Central Time, 8 Eastern, Left is Right Crochet with Sandy is live, and it's always a good time. So make sure you hit her up tonight, Left is Right Crochet with Sandy, live, with Oscar and Octavia and the gang. Oh, I should have said Octavia first. And by the way, Sandy, I love that little sticker of Octavia. Wait a minute. I haven't seen your podcast from today yet, Bev. I had no idea. Okay. I will catch it. I will catch it. Love you too, Sandy. I will watch. I will watch, Bev. And I'm loving the yarn that you're, you're working with for my bag. <laughs> I got so much to be excited about. <laughs> Oh, the little stickers. Oh, they're so cute with Octavia on there. There's yarn. Hey, Jan. Yes, if anybody wants me to go through, show you what, what came from Yarn Geek's Instagram um, win, her first uh, giveaway. I was lucky enough to get it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Can somebody draw, drop um, Sandy's Linky Dinky? If somebody can drop Sandy's linky dinky, then um, everybody can maybe put them in, put Sandy in an, in another window and make sure they join this evening. Is Quilty leaving? Oh, HD's leaving. Okay, okay, HD. Thank you so much for coming. My gosh, already forty two minutes gone by. Ooh. Oh, you would love to see. Okay, okay. So, so Ginger sent me three skein skeins of the Sweet Delight, and this one is called Ella's Dress. I didn't even say that a while ago. It's a pretty three-weight acrylic. Very soft, very soft. There were three of those, and... There was, there's this style craft, which is uh, 20 wool and acrylic, which is, it's called Batik uh, Elements. And it's, it's, uh, it's Batik. That is like the best way to describe it. Kind of like a washed, variegated, washed, all pretty colors in there. Three of these and um, six of these Yarn Be Sweet Delight, no color play. And this is sidewalk chalk to thicker weight, but very, very, very soft. Six of these. I love the batik too. There were six of these and three of the same in the uh, cloudy coast. Very soft. And it's got a little shimmer shine to it a little bit. Oh my gosh, this stuff is crazy soft. And... Some icy yarn. There were eight balls of these. And it's a little thin boucle. It's like I can't ever get used to the camera. Y'all excuse my dried hands. It's a thin boucle. It's pretty. Ooh. I can see lacy, lacy. And what else? And two hanks of this pretty red, beautiful red acrylic. And two hanks of this beautiful white acrylic. <laughs> if I didn't have so much to do before Christmas. Oh, that's wonderful. Just now, Crow J? Eight, eight yards delivered to your door. Oh, it's not that cold. It's 50, 55. I got my jacket on. I'm drinking coffee. My fingertips are a little cold, but otherwise I'm not. It's so, I, I just think it's so pretty out here with these uh, 
the birch tree leaves, they don't uh, fall completely. So later on, even later on as, the, as we get on into the season, the only leaves you'll see are these pretty pale leaves, and I just love them. I know I love them. I love to sit out here. I don't very often anymore, so I thought, well, why not? Why not? That That is fantastic, Crojo Mojo. <laughs> yeah, it's not that cold. We can, we can stand some time outside, even if it does get cold. And it's not that bad. Can you imagine? Poor, um, thank you, Jan. Appointment time. Okay, Crow Joe. Hope to see you again. And for anybody, that before, you know, if you're interested in doing a new chair dance tomorrow, same time, same place, 4 o'clock Eastern, we're going to do another chair dance. Thank you, Jan. So, what else is on? The, um, talk to you about the yarn weight. Yep. And also, I'm going to put up the link one more time. And this is Mama Swift's link uh, to her most latest update on the Our Gifts of Love for Sharon. If you don't know about Sharon of Sharon's Crochet Corner, we're trying to help her um, get a new wheelchair. Very, very much needed. Um, Sharon um, has lived with uh, spina bifida and she's post-polio. Oh, thank you, Teresa. Post-polio as well. And she's needing an upgrade in, in a chair for her. And which is incredibly expensive, especially in Canada where she's at. So, Mama Swift is having a where you can get by chances to win a plethora of prizes. There's 20 prizes now. One of which, if you haven't seen, is this big old hooded pocket scarf. If you go to my Halloween video, you can see what this looks like. And it's got 20% wool. It's woolies. But it is very worn. They're very warm. And there's a Mama Swift is making a, uh, a blanket. So whoever wins that can choose what colors they want in a blanket. Oh. Oh, Lordy, Lordy. What else is new? What else can we talk about? Tell a little, tell a little. An Irish pub shawl. Sweet Tea's donating an Irish pub shawl. I might like that. <laughs> is that a, the name of a pattern? Sweet Tea? Okay. You're the 20th donation. I'll have to look it up. She had a video yesterday, Sharon did? I'm pretty sure I saw it in her last... She's just so sweet. The last one I saw, it was after she got out of the hospital. And she was recouping. And uh, she was so apologetic for not putting a video out lately. I was like, my goodness. <laughs> she had just gotten out of the hospital. One can't help that. One cannot help that at all. But I'm glad she's feeling better. And thoughts and prayers to Madonna, please, everybody. Because um, she's got a broken heart. Broken heart. Lost her sister-in-law this morning early. So. 
you know, I was, I don't know why I did this, but I was going to find the GoFundMe. I linked it. Hey, here's another question. Whenever I know that, hey, Maribel, um, I know that when, like, you upload a video, you have to wait until it's completely uploaded before links will work in the description box. Does that work the same way for live videos? Because I just went ahead and tried to drop the links on before I actually went live. And I don't know if they'll work, but I'll check it when we're done. And um, anywho, I was on Facebook to try to find the GoFundMe link for Sharon uh, to put in there. And I got sidetracked with a little thing that said the 10 worst hairstyles for older women. The, the 10 hairstyles you should not wear as an older woman. So I went through them real quick. I didn't read every word for word. But I went through them real quick. And then I thought, well, how are we supposed to wear our hair? <laughs> because, you know. Okay, cool. That's good to know. Thank you, Mirabel. I'm like, and one of them was um, long layers. And I just started having my hair cut in long layers. But I don't know if... I, I'm not worthy of it because I don't want to do anything. I don't want to do nothing with my hair. <laughs> I just want to wash it and let it go. And that's all I do usually. Hey, Miguel. Who knows is here? Hey, Miguel. What's up? Sitting outside. Not too chilly. Let's see what the weather is now. Is it still 55? I have a text message. Oh, I got something in a shopping cart somewhere. Do you still want it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what it is. 52. Dropped three degrees. That's eh, not too bad. So, you want to see what I won? Want to see what I won? Miguel, who, who else is new in? Y'all tired of seeing all of what I got, aren't you? Oh, Marcel, thank you. Thank you. Oh, Maribel. Maribel came in. And Miguel came in. Okay, I'll show you again. So, this was from Yarn Geek's first giveaway on Instagram. She, she The little card said her first ever giveaway. Show it again. You were tardy. Okay. Sweet tea was tardy. Oh, this is... Yarn B Sweet Delight from Hobby Lobby. And this particular color is Ella's Dress. And it's a three-way. Isn't that pretty? It's so soft. And there were three of these, I think. Yes, three of these. And then we got this pretty Yarn B color play in the color Cloudy Coast. And it's a five-weight, I think. No, it's a six. It's a six weight. And it's so soft. And there were three of these. Nobody gets tired of looking at yarn. <laughs> you got Linda. Linda says, I figure if they don't pay my bills, so don't tell me how to wear my hair. <laughs> my mom always said that I had the mousiest hair. Just mousy, you know. She always said, "You hang me." She always wanted me to color it and get it cut a certain. I'm not ever. I tried doing a. I had used to have super short hair. Because hey, Cynthia, um, because I used to scuba dive, and so I would cut my hair super short because it's just easier and and all the way around. To me, super short hair or super long hair is just easier. But anyway. So, I'm not going to color my hair. And I noticed the other day when I bent down hoping that that, lot, that uh, alpaca would kiss me on the forehead. <laughs> I noticed all the grays in there. I'm like, oh, I don't care. I don't care. But there were three of these. No, six of these. The sidewalk chalk. Same thing as the cloudy coast. Very, very. Thank you. Thank you. Very, very soft. I've been lucky lately. I won Bev's first giveaway. I've won Yarn Geek's first giveaway. 
<laughs> Lucky, I'm blessed. What else did I get? Oh, ice, ice, baby. Ice, ice, baby. This is a very pretty, thin, thin boucle. But beautiful, beautiful. In tan or camel color and white. And there were eight. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, eight balls of these. And then there was two hanks of this pretty white acrylic to go with two hanks of this beautiful red acrylic. How cool is that? That should be my thumbnail. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love this. I love this. Oh, Cynthia, aren't they? <laughs> Tess, is Tess here? I don't think so. Let's see. Let's see. No, no, no. No new tab. No, no. Went too high. I don't see Tess. <clears throat> now my nose is running. Hmm. So I've not I've not worked with the um, comfy cotton blend yet. Has anybody else worked with this? It's, this stuff feels so good though. And I'm gonna double it up and make um, and try to recreate the the pocket scarf with the hood. Feels good. Yeah, it feels really good. And I'm sure I, I'm sure I'll have enough. Or I hope I'll have enough. I think it'll be good. Because around here, you just don't need, I don't know, I just don't need anything real thick or heavy. The cotton blend, yeah. Well, to feel it, I love it too. Y'all, I've got so many yarns I hadn't even worked with yet. It washed up great. Good. That's what the man, he's ordering it. He's getting it for his wife for Christmas. And that's what he said. He wanted something that would would wash up real good and easy. So that's good to know. And I also wanted to tell you guys too. And I don't want to sound like I'm begging. I really don't. But if there is anyone who. Well, I don't know about y'all. But everything that I've kept. That I've made. Is dishcloths i've not kept well i did keep some ear warmers that i made but um i don't know why i don't keep what i make i just don't need it i guess <laughs> but um i have um if if you watched my um secret santa for charity um you'll know this already but anyway there is a um the Baptist Children's Home, right, not very far from me, maybe, maybe 10 miles away from me, and I'm really going to work hard at making things to donate there. They seem so very appreciative of the thought, and um, they have, not only do they house children that need, you know, a family, but they also um, are a transition service and they have housing for women who have children who need help transitioning into uh, independent life and uh, family life. And um, they have what they call cottages. Uh, they look more like uh, duplex apartments, but it's, it's incredible how much they do for people over there. So, um, if anybody, what I'm what I'm saying is, if anybody makes things and does not have a local place to donate things for, uh, you know, please send them to me. I'll even help pay for your shipping if there's anything that that you have that you'd like to donate. Um, the baby, um, I'm just saying Jan's words are not. I keep baby blanket scope. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Jan. Now, the baby blankets, they have uh, locations all over the state of North Carolina, the Baptist Children's Home. Um, and uh, 
in the mountains of North Carolina, they got uh, where they have moms with, with newborns, with babies under the, you know, tots and uh, that are working on transitioning too. So baby blankets would probably go up there. And from what I understand, the, the lady in charge in Lenore, she comes down here um, or over here and picks up and goes through a lot of the stuff um, at this location to take back with her too. So nobody's forgotten. But anyway, just, just a thought, you know, email me if you're interested. Um, and not that I mean to beg, but, but I know a lot of places can't accept things yet. And this lady was so nice to say that she would meet me somewhere and pick up the things. And then they actually quarantined them for a few days too. So, um, I'm going to make sure I wash everything before getting it to her. But, but just to know that safety measure is there feels good, you know. So, anywho. Well, looky there. I guess it's time to go. So, I'm going to leave you guys today with a quote, which I think I may have already said. So, I may find another one. Take time to make your soul happy. Poshmark quote of the day. Let's see if there's another good one. Oh, here's a good one <clears throat> from Poshmark. Don't know who needs to hear this, but if you're going through, if you're going through it right now, please don't try to cut your bangs. <laughs> All right, folks. Thank you, Mirabelle. And um, don't forget Love you, Bev. Y'all don't forget, uh, Sandy, left is right crochet tonight at 7 p.m. Central, 8 p.m. Eastern. Thank you, Miguel. Yes, great winnings. <laughs> I'm not going to enter any more contests because I really don't need any more yarn. But I sure have been blessed and lucky. Nice to meet you too, Marcel. Please come back, okay? And thank you for joining us. And love to everybody. Love, love, love. <laughs> all right we'll see you guys uh, hopefully at sandy's and if you haven't bought a chance for all the winnings from mama swift for um the chances for the our gifts of love for sharon please go over to mama swift's channel shoot her email there's like 20 prizes up for grabs now and i think it's five chances for 20 dollars somebody gonna have to correct me on that I think you only have like one week left next Wednesday night around midnight Pacific time is the last day to buy your chances. Thank you, Elaine. I'm glad you like it, Elaine. Make you a little something, little something pretty with it. All right. Oh, you just got back, Granny D. You'll have to watch the replay because you missed the boxing. That's okay. No problem. All right. Love everybody. Oh, I'm going to put Mama Swift's link in here one more time for anybody who's still here. All right. Here's Mama Swift's link, okay? And that is the link to her latest update on the our gifts of love. Love y'all. Bye. Oh, hope to see you tomorrow. <laughs>